For more business news now in the markets, let's check in with Tom Petrovsky over at Comsec. How are we shaping up today, Tom? Oh, Pete, we'll get off to a positive start. Uh, the futures are telling us the ASX 200 will be up by around 0.4 of a percent. It's uh, a question of where the momentum might come from thereafter. We actually saw uh, mining stocks do quite well in Europe, which I'll get to in a moment. But uh, because of the readjustment in uh, time locally, uh, we're now on winter time, and because of what's happened in the US, uh, the markets close at six. So I can report that the US markets have closed now. Uh, we had the S&P 500 uh, and the Dow finish ever so slightly in negative territory the Nasdaq uh, ever so slightly in positive territory the conviction uh, really wasn't there one way or the other Pete there was some modest improvements early on in the session but they were neutralized part of the reason for that is that in coming days there'll be quite a lot of economic news for US investors to get through in addition to the US corporate earnings season kicking off at the end of the week so you could make an argument for investors keeping their powder dry ahead of that outcome but the important thing to mention is that we've got some CPI figures or consumer inflation numbers to look at they are going to be so important in the context of what we've seen most recently in the US stronger economic news uh, the question mark over whether or not the US Federal Reserve will be cutting rates in June the probability is of that uh, continue to narrow and it will all hinge on those CPI figures uh, Wednesday US time so there's a, uh, a mounting anticipation ahead of those numbers Numbers. So uh, I should point out that US interest rates have risen to their highest levels in, uh, since November in anticipation of those figures. That was a feature just keeping uh, equity markets subdued last night where uh, the US was concerned. European markets did better by comparison, uh, but they were catching up a little bit because they uh, were left out of the improvement that we saw for US markets on Friday. Uh, the French market up 0.7%, uh, the German market up 0.8%, and the UK market up 0.4%. Uh, we saw some quite decent improvements in uh, miners in Europe. Europe, we had Rio Tinto shares uh, up by about 4%, Anglo-American up by about 2%, helped by the fact that we've got copper prices at 14-month highs. So in the absence of much locally, we've got uh, consumer and business sentiment figures to look at, but that'll be more for the economists to talk about rather than market participants having anything to sink their teeth in. So that improvement in commodity prices might be a factor uh, mm. working in favour of our own market today. All right. Thanks a million, Tom. We'll talk to you later.